What is your name? George Riley. Full name. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. George Arthur Riley. What were your objectives? T to put incendiary bombs in department stores. I can give you a full list. And, and all our contacts, and safe houses, and drops, if, if that would be helpful. Martin has a fuller knowledge in me. He, he's the group commander. I'll give you all the help I can. I regret the trouble we've caused. How long did it take you to break them? This film was shot ten minutes after their capture. I told you the device was effective. I, I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry. Come on, now. Tell me all about it. Yes, I, I want to do that. Where were you recruited? In London. Where in London? In, in, in the Three Dominoes. It, it's a pub in Kilburn. And who recruited you? Now, these are contemptible men, soft as butter. I, the I, terrorists I, I have to deal with in my country are hard men. You, so were these. Look, this was shot about 15 minutes early. Ten minutes, you bastard! Or she gets it! I throw her head off! We are not in a position to negotiate anything apart from your surrender. Lay down your arms and you will not be harmed. You have my word. Go word! Contemptible, yes. Soft as butter, <laughs> no. You didn't break that man in ten minutes? Just watch this. All right, Jenkins, we'll have to try it. He's gone back inside. Come on, hurry, man, hurry! The hostages. All of them were in that room with our targets when the grenade exploded. Three days later, they completely recovered. A useful weapon, if you are troubled by extremists. As you are. As I am? Unfortunately, there's no way the British government could authorize the sale of PS2 to a government with a record like yours in respect to civil rights. Oh, civil rights? What an emotional phrase. But I am not an emotional man. So all that remains is for us to agree a price. <laughs> Come on, Ted, open the cage. Let's get down to business. What do you have to do to get a drink round here? All in good time. You'll have plenty of time to fill your boots. Uh, well, Dennis, I don't know why they don't just give him an eight-day clock and I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Alfred. You're gonna miss Alfred? You have to sign six forms in duplicate to get a handgun and a box of ammo, and then he double-checks the ammunition. Now, gentlemen. Is all Ted? Certainly, sir. Excuse me? Yeah? Uh, but we were first. No, excuse me, I was first. Oh, sort of. Whose side are you on? It's on the same lines as the stun grenade, but it's a considerable advance on the type used at Mogadishu. When the German special squad... ...PS2 goes further, the enemy becomes utterly submissive. Not just begging to surrender, but begging to confess, spill the beans, tell all. All right, you tell me who's the best all-rounder in Europe. You tell me. Who? Keegan. 
Yes, you see, I understand. No, 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 Croydon. Liverpool. Man. I know, it's Croydon. Liverpool. Evening, it's just because man. of the evening, I'll follow you on. I have lunch, uh, lunch, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Have a trouble. Well, why not? It's my night. And it's my round. The chemical content can also be used as an incipient or leak in confined spaces. A cell, perhaps. It achieves the same result. And the subject isn't even aware that he or she is getting the treatment. It's a very attractive weapon, but the price is too high. I do have alternative source of supply. Do you indeed? Yes, I must consult with him. I like the look of the product very much, but I see no reason why the laws of the marketplace should not apply. Hmm? None at all. I don't know. Oh, I love it, you know. It's right up the street with all the Scots. Uh, right. Well, you know, I've been reading about this jogging business. People have been known to drop dead in their tracks. You know, you're in the right place, anyway. Hey, come on, we've done our stints. No, we haven't. A lot of them falling apart. Pull yourself to get a man. Yeah. You know your trouble, though, don't you? You eat too much. I always leave the table wanted. Yeah, then you go back and have it. Saw you last night. Well, you're in pretty good shape for a man of your age. Good to hear. But it can't go on indefinitely. What can? The pace. The tension, your way of life. But you're giving me a clean bill of health. No. What? Now, we've been all through this before, George. And I've taken your advice. Yes, so you tell me. The facts speak for themselves. And what do they say? For a man in a sedentary occupation, reasonable expectations. But we can use the word sedentary when referring to, say, a spider lying in wait for the prey to fall into the web. And that's the trouble, George. You've spent far too long a time, coiled, ready to spring. Morning. 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 Hope you're keeping count. I've got a built in myelometer. Hey, do you think that guy back there is making a drop for a pickup? It's a microfilm on the first headstone on the left. Uh, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, who do you think he is, one of the lads? Hey? Oh, how do you teach an old dog new tricks, Jim? You don't. The wise old dog lets the young pups do all the work. And the young pups become impatient. They want to be top dog. I say, Doyle, Mr. Birdie, do you mind if I have a word? Oh, we are frightfully busy just now, as you can see. My name's Plum. Hello, Victoria. I wish I'd had a pound for every time I've suffered that one. I was right. I've been picked up. What can we do for you? I'm afraid I've got some rather distressing news for you, gentlemen. Yeah, I haven't got a cure for a hangover, have you? Guess. No, when you've had enough. What distressing news? It's about Cowley. I'm afraid he's been putting something by for a rainy day. Oh, Carly bent you, Daddy, in mind. Everything points to it. We trust him with our life. We have trusted him with our lives. Yes, I believe you have. Now, look here, I don't just get the idea that I've got it in for George. It's just that... And I'm afraid he's been rather letting the side down. And you boys have been assigned the rather unpleasant task of getting the... goods on him. Of course, I appreciate that. Yes. Yes, I quite understand, but time's getting short. There is a limit to how long I can wait. Right. Have you contacted your other source? We'll do that. And bear this in mind. Even if he's cheaper, is he as reliable? Can he supply in bulk? Find out. Is that? Oh, yeah. That's not too good. Hope it clears up later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What 
not an emotional phrase. But I am not an emotional man. So all that remains is for us to agree a price. Why us? You've got your own heavy brigade. Because you're part of his organization. You are above suspicion. And anyway, I have your orders properly authenticated. Good day. Morning, sir. Morning, Groves. Gave Mr. Cole a good send-off last night, sir. Good. Sorry to have missed, sir. Are they ever finished? Uh, should be, sir. They're out the window now. It's the last one. Happy as a couple of pigs in... Yes, quite. Thank you, Groves. You see what I see? Yeah. Mum's the word. Mum's the word. <laughs> 5.6. Certainly, after you. No, please, after you, Oh, Snotty. all right. 5.5. 5. <laughs> Five point seven. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Good morning, sir. Just got up. Oh, that's good. Got a surveillance job for you, the two of you. Around the clock surveillance and a man called Malik, an Arab gentleman, checked into the Oxford House Hotel. Supposedly a merchant, but a merchant in what? What's the special about him? All information received. Now take no chances. Back each other up at all times. We don't usually pull this number. No, you have now, Doyle. Malik, that's the equivalent of Smith in Arabic, isn't it? Is it indeed? Better take some extra glucose. He's a man of boundless energy. Casinos, the flesh pots, he's tireless. Report direct to you, sir. Uh, no, just put in a report. I'll read it in due course. It's not class, eh? Important then, sir. Important enough for you two to get in his tail and stay on it. Good luck. You know, it'd be funny if it wasn't pathetic. Yeah. I've bugged his motor. When? Just now. <laughs> just Crucify you. Yeah. Who, me, sir? No, not I, sir. No. I didn't do it. Yeah, well, you know the first rule of authority is to delegate, don't you? Who are we going to delegate? Charlie's ideal. He's got a nightclub to have. 5.9. Too slow, gentlemen. Too slow. Are you sure this hasn't been used before? Yeah, it's clean. Cleaned on the meat in the business. Does it go? Like a bomb. What's he up to, do you reckon, eh? Setting us off on this idiot's error. Wants to keep our noses out of something. Oh, yeah, brilliant. But what? Well, whatever it is, you can bet Plum's got his snout stuck well into it. Uh, maybe we should have told the old man. Well, we can't do that. Well, once he's opened this particular nasty can of worms, we'll have to see which way they wiggle. Oh, look out. Looks like he's heading into town. Yeah, well, I'm in no hurry. There's the armory. Curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. Signature, please. Sir. Good morning, sir. Morning, Cole. Morning, Major. Sorry I missed your farewell bash last night. Unavoidable, I'm afraid. 
Doesn't think you'd make it in today, I must say. Oh, the alarm clock did sound a bit like Quasimodo in full swing. <laughs> Still old habits die hard. Ah, well, end of the month and you can throw that alarm away. Mm. I was thinking of you lads fighting the good fight. Mm. Spoke to Charlie. Yeah? Yeah. Rashid Malik's gone to the mosque. Oh, he's supposed to be a riotous liver, isn't he? <laughs> Maybe he's praying for a change of luck. What do you say to Charlie, boy? I'll tell him to slip his shoes off and say one for us. <laughs> These have never been demonstrated before, sir. I have used them operationally, Cole. Well, sir, they are top secret. I mean, that's why I keep them in here, separate from the main armory. But this is a top brass affair. I don't think they'll be satisfied with diagrams. I suppose not. You'll have to sign for them, sir. I think it's a touch of action stations, don't you? Very touchy. Hey, don't you speak to any strange men. Nines and thirties, of course. Fine. And the year? Now, that's some more P14s. P14s, what do you say? About half a gross, something like that? Yep. I know, I'll do that. Right. Fine. Elf? Yeah, Elf. Yeah, Elf. Yeah, Elf. Yeah, Elf. Yeah, Elf. Not another one. Another what? I just had your chief in. Oh, you over budget on paper clips again? No, I have run out of red tape. I see. And what can I do for you? Shoot us up the spout. I think the sight's out of alignment. Dropped it again, have you? Come on, let's have a look at it. There is one up the spout. I think you need your eyes tested. 2020 vision. Except when I'm hungover. Oh, there's nothing wrong with this baby. The drop of oil won't sort out. Now, I've told you lads before. A man's best friend is his trusty weapon. Exactly. You take care of him, and he'll take care of you. Missed your vocation, Alf. You should have been a preacher. I didn't fancy the uniform. Not being nosy, but what's the old man doing with PS2? You are being nosy. Oh, well, you see, I've got an inquiring mind. It's supposed to be an advantage in my line of business. And while we're at it, what is PS2? Inquire on the Major. Don't drop it. Don't lose it off in anger. Seven or five, what you got? Ah, uh, he's done it on us. Malik. <laughs> he's done the old switcheroo. Looks like our bug is US. Any chance he clocked you? No. Any sign of RT on the new chariot? Ah, uh, there's no visible signs of RT. Well, I'll grab my car. Where are you headed? You know where we saw the black boy take the count? The black? I oh, mean a boxer? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Good. Well, looks like we're heading north. 
Uh, what'd you get from our friends? The old man's walked off with two boxes of PS2. PS2, what's that? That was your starter for ten. Math. You know, I've got a feeling that Victoria might know the answer. Nah, it's too old to play games. Okay, switch to the closeout frequency. I've cleared it with Victoria. Out. You're still reading me, over. Just about. Over. He's turned left down a lane. There's a big white house on the corner. Looks like the entrance to an airfield. Have you got that, over? Understood. Over. Hi. Oh, that's a good bag you got there. Private land here, mate. Yeah, well, been closed for years. All private now. Yeah, I was following a car, actually. You um, haven't seen one, have you? Orange Marina. Yeah? Oh, which way did it go? Manor Farm. Oh, yeah. How'd you know? He asked the way. Did he? Uh, yeah, you can get yourself lost around here, eh? What do you tell him? Past the old hangars, turn left. The old perimeter road leads to a track that goes in the wood. Go through the wood. All right, sir. Thank you. Are you shipping these back to Mata Alpa? That, ostensibly, is why we're here. Also has a stud farm back home. Thank you, Paul. And this place? It belongs to some associates of Otto's. Where is he? He's shooting at the moment. Oh, you surprise me. Why? I would have thought he got all the shooting he needed at home. He likes to keep his eye in. Very wise. After that, you're on your own, Goldilocks. Out. Morning, Cole. Morning, Spam. Just some paperwork, I'm afraid. Bloody bumps. All right, I go to accounts for these. Can you hang on? Yes, of course. One bit on.
I'm sorry, Mr. Cowley, but until I hear from my alternative source, there's no point in discussing the matter. Oh, will you excuse me? We thought you'd come visiting under cover of darkness. Well, it's often less conspicuous in broad daylight. You're well versed in yards of a clandestine. I should be. An asset for us. I hope so. Perhaps you will join us. All in good time. Otto is looking for the right kind of leaders. But he is the leader. Oh, yes. And you are his right hand. The people like me. How could they not? There are some who think differently. They must be converted. Don't you touch anything. This isn't mine, and I don't want it knocked about. Are you comfy? Uh, eh? No. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. Bye bye. man can undercut you. I've only your word for that. That's right. But mine is a fair price in view of the personal risk involved. Let there be no mistake, Mr. Cowley. I want PS2. But there is no reason why I should buy from you if your price is the higher. And numbers. Can he supply them in volume? He can match you. A man to be reckoned with, my competitor. So it would seem. Never found himself a milkmaid. Naughty, naughty. What makes you think you can trust my competitor? Trust doesn't enter into it, Mr. Cowley. There is one quality in him that is common to both of you. We have something in common. Greed. Unadulterated greed. One can always trust that. Providing one can control it. Looks like Rip's had a fall. You better make a search for him. Of course. Have a nice day. What happened? Rip must have had a fall. Trinkets found her own way back. Ach, the man's a fool. Is the horse all right? Yes. So, Mr. Cowley, an impasse. Arm passes are for moral dilemmas. This is strictly business. Follow me. In a free market, you have to undercut your competitors, haven't you? How very sensible of you, Mr. Cowley. And after all, 
You are getting them rather cheap yourself. Yes, I know all about Han. Thank you, Gloria. The F.O. regard him as a very stabilizing influence in his part of the world. Though we can have no truck with him openly, he's a dictator and a very ruthless one. Yeah, there's a woman with him. His wife, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Bodhi wants to save her soul, so she can't be that beautiful and all bad. Tell him. The last time there was any trouble out there, she personally devised some very droll punishments for the offenders. And one of them was an old lover of hers. Something along the lines of Salome's deal over John the Baptist. I see good in everyone, but I take the point. He takes the point. Now do you want us to proceed? Would you say then, Doyle, from what you've seen and heard, that there is any doubt about Cowley's guilt? Sorry to say, no, none at all. I see. You want the whole bunch? No, just George for now. I want him in top security by dawn. Then we'll see about the others. If we keep a tail on Cowley, then we can bust the whole lot right back to the source of supply. No. Bring George in, but only after he's talked to Han. I don't want Han touched. He's to be left alone. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. What I don't understand is what PS2 is. You worry about Cowley, Doyle. Let me worry about PS2. <laughs> already acquired a nickname, the crybaby. We've come a long way since the days of the Chinese water torture. Hmm? Please. Of course. Come back into the house, Mr. Cowley. We can discuss it over dinner. As you say, we've come a long way. It's positively humane. Intrigue me, Cowley. My sources have checked you out. Impeccable background, distinguished service in both military and civil branches. Not that far off your pension. And suddenly, you choose to feather your nest. A sign of the times. I'm not alone in seeking to feather my nest. Corruption in high places spreads like whispers in the wind. The new world has a lot to answer for. It's happened in more austere societies. And dialectical materialism is sometimes superseded by plain, unvarnished materialism. That's why my friends and myself are trying to preserve something of those old values in our small country. But I suspect that's of little interest to you. Preserving old values or withholding the rights of others. We see ourselves as caretakers to a people who would have died of disease or famine if those like myself had not built them hospitals, mechanized their agriculture... And developed their mineral wealth. It seems a fair exchange to me. Come on, Kelly. Hold it. Get the guns. Get them out to the house. Dollars or Swiss francs? I would prefer francs. The Swiss are that much more stable. <laughs> it's quite a nest you are feathering. A nest with a penthouse on top. Think of the risks. If a pillar in the establishment is caught in a misdemeanor... The establishment throws away the key. Exactly. You know, perhaps I should be interested in the competition. They are the ones who've increased the risk. How? Without them, we wouldn't be haggling about price. Supposing Otto goes back to them and compromises me? A gentleman's agreement. It requires two gentlemen. <laughs> Come in. We've picked up a couple of trespassers, sir. And poachers? Poachers with handguns. Bring them in.
Evening. Evening, Mr. Cowley. Friends of yours? But you know them. I know that one. He's a mercenary. And the other? Yeah, well, we heard you were looking for arms and men. For a little party. Where did you hear that? Oh, the word gets around, you know. We're quite a select team. Select? You're beneath contempt. But you move in the same circles. It's often necessary to have contacts in the underworld. Underworld, eh? Oh, we're just hired hands. It's our masters who are bent. Carl, take them down to the cellar. After supper, we shall have a little talk. You wouldn't like to set a couple of extra places, would you? Take them away. It's a bit chilly down here. Could you send down the electric fire, please? I don't think I like being called a mercenary. They're the strangest people. Yeah, yeah. Even if it saves your neck. Yeah, but has it? Those two certainly arrived at the right moment. You're not thinking of hiring them, are you? We might press them into service. Oh, they're the type, I suppose. Ruthless as they come. I was thinking of more immediate service. Guinea pigs. For your crybaby. Hmm. There might be some interesting revelations. What do you reckon? Not a lot. Hello. Looks a bit more promising. Yeah. Oh, well, this is very nice of them, isn't it? <coughs> what? Hey? Large bedroom off. Oof. Bathroom en suite. Yeah, it's a wonderful view. Give us a hand, then. What this grill? <coughs> Ah, padlock. That piece of cake, really, if he had the key. Yeah, it's bound to be under the mat. All we need is a crowbar, good size hammer. Now, that's not a lot to ask, is it, of a self-respecting seller? Scout, were you? No, I took dancing lessons. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a pity. Helps you to untie knots. I bet Cowley was a boy scout. Yeah. It would make quite a bang. What about the neighbours? No, there's no one for miles around. You're not being squeamish, are you, Mr. Cowley? Not at all. Then it's settled. Go and get your box of tricks. All right. I can't shift it. There's another way. Oh, now he tells me. Never use ingenuity, and brute force and ignorance will suffice. It only saps the brain cells, and you need to save all of yours. Give 
chisel. Try the padlock. Where's the chisel? I dropped it. They must have followed him here. It's too much of a coincidence. Carl, I want Mr. Cowley to have a taste of his own medicine. Hmm? I want him to be caught in the cellar with his friends. What about the PS2? He only brought a few samples. I shall go to my other source. I'm beginning to trust Mr. Cowley less and less. Ah, here we are. It's quite chilly out there. Oh, may I? Of course. Thank you. I'll try these screws again. Get it on there, sir. <laughs> now, let's see if I can prime this little fellow. Where's the cellar? Carl? It's coming. Come on. Straight up. before it's safe to go in. Get the car. There's no point. The car is dangerous. Why? What can he do? Go to the police and complain that we used one of his own stolen grenades on him? Is he okay? Uh, his pulse is slow but steady, so he should be all right. I agree your terms. I will send my men over to collect the product. Mm hmm. Good. You must leave at once. Come on, let the dogs eat the rabbits. What are we doing here? Beating an admirer of yours. Weeks and weeks of work have been wasted because of your interference. Interference? You mean like dragging you from a cellar full of PS2s? I wouldn't have been in that cellar if you two hadn't been incompetent enough to get caught. 
So what is PS2 anyway? A product of my imagination, Bowie. Pretty fevered imagination, sir. Vaporized tranquilizer, nothing more. And why were you following me? Why didn't you obey orders and follow Rashid Mali? Ali spent the morning in the mosque and took the afternoon concord to Bahrain. Well, you wish you'd gone with him by the time I get through with you. Who do you put on him? Charlie. And what or who put you on to me? I did. Where the hell is he? Sorry to keep you waiting, gentlemen. Rotor arms. Shall we go? This man ordered you to keep tabs on me. That's right. Written orders. So he claimed. Show them to me. You're in no position to give me orders, Cowley. But you've got them. You'll be able to produce them at the court of inquiry. The only court I foresee is one that will find you guilty of treason, Cowley. I understand your sense of loyalty. But I cannot let Cowley bemuse you into thinking he's innocent. Everything points to you, Cowley. I came here yesterday and checked. You withdrew two boxes of PS2 grenades. Why? Why? Because I was out to bust the misappropriation racket that's baffled my department and yours and defence sales for months. That's why. And what's your contribution? You try and turn my own men against me. That's easy to say. Can you prove it? Unlike you, Plum, I took the precaution of securing ministerial sanction for my activity. The breach has to be at top level. And now it all points to you. But that's impossible. We'll see what Otto Hahn has to say about that. I'm surprised you never required a demonstration of PS2. Or should I be flattered that you're trusting me? Let's just say I'm a good judge of character, Cole. Another arms pass, it seems, Mr. Hahn. Cole! If there was one man in my life I would have trusted... That man was me. On my salary. And I won't even get my pension. Free accommodation and meals. I'm a good shot, sir, remember? I remember, but so am I. So is Doyle, remember? Doyle's always dropping his. I knew we should have given you an eight-day clock. You wait till you get to my age, Doyle. An eight-day clock's not much recompense for a lifetime of service. Sorry, Plum. What's going to happen to him, sir? Maybe a posting to the Galapagos Islands. Now, unless he decides to stand for Parliament, they tell me there's a safe seat going in the West Country. I'm sure he rides quite well. Fancy a run tomorrow. 